Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, and today we're going to be looking at the Checkpoint Sniper Tower. Uh, just first off, I want to state this real quickly. Apologies about not uploading. Uh, just I've had up some uh, issues with uploading today, and I wasn't very well the other day as well. So we're just going to take a quick roundabout look at this Sniper Tower that I built at Warwick Homestead. It was just a, you know, <laughs> just an idea that came to me. And I thought it would work, and it did actually in the long term. In the long run of it, it did work pretty well, and it looks pretty smashing, if I do say so myself. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. Right, we're here on Spectacle Island, and I have all the parts we need out right now. And here it is we have the scaffolding frame, which I'm going to put over here just to make it easier on myself. Then we have a floor and roof prefab from the uh, prefab from the uh what's it called the wood uh, structure section which you're gonna need you see how you can't put these in the middle of it but you can connect it to the side but as i noticed something as well when i was messing around with this happened i'm able to connect it the middle section here now we put the roof and the floor back in and now we bring the sniper tower over here which is pretty cool actually i love this thing i'm going to be using it a lot more often now than my other ways of building uh defense towers anyway now we're going to bring some of these uh, shack balcony ra railings over on the side. I chose these ones because it does give a little uh, style to the a mixed style of resources with the tower. And it also kind of covers up the guard post as well, which is quite handy. Right now we just put all these bits and pieces on the side here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We just have seven uh, balcony railings here to put on the side. And yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I was just messing around with the idea when I was working on some builds to do. And upload soon, by the way. I'm going to have a few more uploaded. And um, yes, this is it. And now we get this, uh, the concrete floor, like the metal floor square by itself. And some posts from the, uh, contra the not the contraption, the Far Harbor DLC and the uh, Wasteland Workshop DLC. The first one, DLC 1 for the Wasteland Workshop. Now, we put up here, I forget a few parts, I apologize. So we're just going to go into metal. We're going into the concrete section and we're going to get to some of these side railings as well, which actually give it a nice look to it as well. Uh, yeah, I've said it well as well too many times there. Apologies, you know, how, how I like to ramble. Uh, unfortunately, when I was filming this, uh, my supply line got cut off, so I actually wasn't able to build much with copper. I only had a bit of copper here. I didn't have actually any copper with me, which was uh, my first mistake. And, uh, well, that's pretty much here. I was going to add on the lights and the connecting... Uh, conduit to power up this tower so you can actually have lights on it as well and it looks pretty damn neat to be honest it will look great for gates and uh camps and outposts and whatnot which i'm actually planning on hopefully building a gateway with this with some of the new contraption dlc stuff it actually is a kick-ass looking uh tower i like it i hope you guys like it as well and yeah that's pretty much it that's how you build it it's a pretty neat and easy build and yeah pretty much that's it there uh, guys, before I go, I just want to give a quick shout again to sugarbombs.com. They are really, really, it's really a good site. I like browsing on there now. I will be going on there more often as soon as possible. It's just I had a busy schedule as well. I also forgot to put the guard post in, but it's pretty easy. It looks a bit awkward to do, but the guard post is actually quite easy to put in. So we're just going to top here and try to fit this in as close as possible. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Try to get as close to the, as possible to the shack railings and try to even it out quite nicely. I don't even it out properly here. Kind of put it at an angle, so I'm going to actually correct that now in a second. And yeah, that's pretty much the idea there. I noticed the problem right there. <laughs> as I said, I'm just going to connect this here and just straighten it up. If you want to straighten it up that way or stay on the guard post as well, that's pretty much it. It looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, wow, that looks great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, I will have a video up about Saturday as well. I am doing another live stream. It's going to possibly be a new game as well. It's also going to be building stuff as well. So it's going to be a bit awesome and I like it a lot. So guys, yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have enjoyed making it. I will have a bunch of new videos up hopefully tomorrow and the next day after that as well. So I'll see you guys next time on RTC. See you guys. Have a good one.